What's up guys, Refred wants to be back with another video and today we're going to do a quick update on the Clownfish Harem. Um, I think it's about been a month since I added them to the tank, but I just want to give you a quick update on how they're doing. Um, as you can see, we still have all seven hovering around the tank. No aggression, no fighting, no anything of that sort. No territorial kind of fights or anything like that. They've all been living really happy and finally, they used to live in this corner just like swimming towards the top of the tank. As you can see now, they're all integrated within the reef. Um, they come up for food, no food here, but they know where the food is. Um, yeah, they play happily with each other. Um, no issues with other tank mates. Um, no picking on corals, none of that kind of negative stuff that happens with sometimes when you add these kind of clowns or any other fish in general. Um, clowns are super happy, no no issues as far as like illnesses or sicknesses. Um, they're all eating super fat and hungry. As you can see they're super beautiful. Um, I'll leave a link in the description as to where I got them from. Shout out to J.I. Reefer. He's a local New York clownfish breeder. Um, that's where I got them from. He'll gladly hook you up with his clowns. Um, but yeah, I'll leave his Instagram in my description. But very happy with them, as you can see. They're pretty much like hosting every single coral. They're all in the SPS that you tied on top. Um, got them a Colorado Sunburst. Right now it's deflated right now. Um, it was super open yesterday, so I should have shot yesterday, but it was really wide open yesterday. Deflated right now, it's fine. It'll come back to life tomorrow, hopefully. Um, but yeah, tank's looking really good. The addition of the clowns hasn't really thrown off anything as far as parameters go. Um, but yeah, they're looking really happy. Like I said, it's only been the first month. Who knows, maybe in six months, 12, 12 months, who knows that they, things might change. But overall, first month has been really smooth and no issues. Um, and everyone's really happy. But yeah, if you guys have any comments, any questions, let me know. Um, I think a major thing is that I don't have a real big bubble tip anemone or any anemone in this tank that makes them territorial for that anemone. So that could be one of the the pros about this tank is that there's no real space where they can really take over. I mean, they can host the frog spawns or the hammers or the elegances. I've seen one go into the elegance, but otherwise there's plenty of territory for them to really spread out their aggression. Um, like I said, this is a four foot tank by two foot by two foot. Um, it's not that big, but also there's a lot of hiding spots in this tank, whether it be the caves or within the corals. Um, so that could be helping as well. But I think the main thing that's really helping and working with this group is that they came from the same clutch. So they're pretty much all family and they've been with each other since day one. Uh, you definitely do not want to get clowns that are from different breeds or different um, stores. You actually want to get them from the same um, clutch that they were born with and then they're pretty much integrated with each other already um, I think that's one of the major factors people are asking me like is the number of clownfish make a difference honestly don't know this is all experience experiment um, I figured seven clowns was a good number uh, not too much that'll overpopulate this tank but also a good amount to test the harem kind of experiment um, but yeah so far so good they've been really happy with each other as you can see, they just congregate. No nipping at each other, no fighting. Um, they don't, when I put in some food, let me try to find some food real quick. Uh, where is my food? All right, I found some, hold on. All right, so right now I'm just gonna feed them some Aquaforest AF Marine mix. Aquaforest has like really good uh, fish food. I like their food more than pretty much any other food because these are like soft pellets. They're not hard, they're all soft pellets. So whether you have small fish or big fish, they can pretty much chew it down, no problems. Food's in, see the clownfish are pretty much integrating with everyone else. But yeah, I feed two to three times a day, um, maybe even more, honestly. Whenever I pass the tank, I just pretty much feed it. So this is what I use, Daca Forest. Aquaforce makes a bunch of them. You can buy them at Bulk Supply. But this is a good one to go with. But yeah, all the food's gone. Everyone's happy. No problems. Yeah, tank's looking real good. It's really packed. 
got some guidings in the front, so I'm trying to, trying to sell those off. We got some alvapores on the, on the, the frag racks up there. Um, but yeah, tank's looking good. Guys, if you have any comments, any questions, let me know. But otherwise, we'll do another update maybe in a few months or just in my next updates for these tanks. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.